we have. We came to check out our little Jennet cave, and there you can see our Jennet is firmly tucked inside its hole. There's the little spots in the fur, and it's not moving too much now, but it has actually been quite mobile. You can see its back leg moving every now and then. It's stretched up the tree trunk, so I don't know what it's doing at the moment. There it comes back down. So you can see it moving quite a bit inside there. Hello, little one. Isn't this cool, though, that we've managed to find one? And we have Byron to thank for this, that we've managed to find this hole that we were able to see a genet pretty much on demand at this stage. I know Ali's had it. This is the first time that I've seen it, but it's super cool to be able to find this hole and find our genet living inside it. And I wonder if it's going to have its young ones at some point inside there. Now, I hope that it's not getting too stressed by us being here. It seems to be moving quite a bit. So I don't know if there's something it's busy doing inside there or what's going on. It hasn't actually looked out once at us. It seems to be fairly relaxed. You can see even its breathing rate is not too bad. It's quite a slow breathing rate, so it's not too panicked by life. But I wonder what it's doing. It keeps kind of standing up and looking up towards the top of the tree and not actually looking at us in any way. Although it now looks as though it's curled up nicely, and I suppose if you're a genet, the best place to be will be inside a tree like that. Today, you're going to be out of the wind and the cold and the rain that might come, and you can curl up into a nice tight ball and stay nice and warm in there. It certainly looks quite cozy. Isn't it cool to have one of these? They're very nice. I wonder how many of these we can find. Hopefully we follow this and we'll see what happens with this particular individual and hopefully in time it will get some young ones and we'll be able to see little baby Janet. Wouldn't that be nice if we had a whole bunch of little babies sticking their head out of that little hole? Now unfortunately a car just came past us so I think the Janet got a bit of a fright but you can see it moved and tried to go upwards. But hopefully as things sort of calm down it will get better. Now I'm whispering because I don't want to spook it. White Lady Owen, you're wondering if there's a difference between a male and female genet. Well, not that I know, White Lady Owen. There's no sort of main structure that you'll get on a male genet or any sort of size variability. I'm, I would imagine that males will be, maybe be slightly bigger, but the chances of seeing two together is very seldom. I've only ever seen two together a few times, and both times they look fairly sort of the same size. So I would imagine that that's the case. Now, it's moved up and out of the hole itself, so I don't want to disturb it too much. So I think we're going to leave it there. But 